Working, working, working. Plymouth is gone. <coughs> Not gone, gone. It's been replaced for the time being. There's a big car show in Cincinnati, uh, Cavalcade of Customs. It's a big show downtown. Uh, it's an indoor show. Gene Winfield was there, which was cool. I didn't expect him to be there. And my car was there, my oil. Well, the car that I worked on before <laughs> and painted was there. Uh, new owner now is a cool guy. He uh, he painted or he had it pinstriped. Guy pinstriped it for him, and he had it entered in the show. <coughs> and Gene Winfield signed the dashboard of that too, so that's pretty cool. It was cool to see it there. Um, I don't know. I don't miss it. Well, I do miss it, but it it I don't know. I'm glad that it's gone to give me an opportunity to work on other stuff. And the Plymouth, I think, is going to be a badass car. When I look at the shoeboxes, my, uh, I've said this before, kind of my freshman, my freshman project. And uh, the Plymouth is going to be my sophomore slash junior project, I think. But for the time being, we're trying to get the Model A done. Uh, I'm going to do my part in it and do the body work. Um, he started doing the welds here, which didn't turn out too well. And I started spot welding here, which didn't turn out too well, but a little better than there. <laughs> so I'm going to clean these up and uh, see how we look. Ugh. The welds definitely look like they penetrated through the other side, so I don't have any issue with with that. Um, I, I was just playing with the heat and the wire feed, trying to get a feel. It's really, it was really hard in the back here because the metal, it wasn't bad metal. I cut back to good metal, but it was still kind of, I mean, I went as far as I could and it was not thin, but it was right on the verge of being, you know, rusty metal. So I had to clean it up a lot and it was kind of difficult to weld to that. It kept wanting to burn back a little bit. I turned the wire up just a little bit and I finally got to where I could get some good heat in there and um, not have it burn through. So that's coming along. I'm going to grind that off, clean it up. I'm going to not open this door. Oh, that's right. It doesn't open very well when you weld braces in. So this subfloor or subframe, whatever you call it in these Model A's. Basically, it's uh, a frame for the bottom of the body and the floor. Um, that rear rail there has been replaced. It was welded right there, which uh, looks like needs to be cleaned up. So he did that. I didn't do any of that um, for that time that it, it was sitting over at, uh, at the other garage. This is actually a new piece going across here. It's getting surface rust on it. That's a new piece going across there too. There's a new rear pan there. Um, we've got a three-speed transmission out of, uh, I can't remember what year truck it was. It's got a truck transmission. We've got it hung there by that chain until we get, um, he's got a cross member he's cut up and gonna fit in there. Um, basically, my role is to, I'm all, all I'm worried about is getting these quarters on, um, getting this wheel well in, all of this back, getting that permanently in there. And then if we come around to the other side, of course, the other side is rotten as well. I'll rot it out. And then the quarter here needs to be replaced. And let's see, is that corner, oh, that corner wasn't bad. Then let me walk around here. One of these corners, it's this other corner is pretty bad. We've got a replacement to weld in. There it is there. Are you coming out? 
Okay. Why don't you get your jacket on? It's cold out here. That's a big jacket. Yeah, your your big jacket. That's what happened on there. Uh huh. That's pink and pink. Yeah. So there's that. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back when I when I get this cleaned up a little bit better. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, um, oh, here we are, let's see, okay, so I've got areas like, well that one might, well, it won't be a problem I don't think, like this right here, hold on, there's little areas there, you can see right there, I did the focus, I just had it. That little pinhole right there. Um, that's going to tell me not to grind anymore. <laughs> obviously. So, I still have all of this. <clears throat> these low spots here. Um, I'm afraid if I keep trying to grind down until it's flat, then I'll start having that happen. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, is that a hole there? Uh, there it is, right there. I'll start having that happen. So, I don't know. I don't have, um, that one I blew through actually just recently. Um, I don't have a way to clean those out. Um, as far as a, a sandblaster or sandblasting was suggested to me, I don't have a way to do that. So, um, and I just don't want to swipe fiberglass over it and have something come through on the back side. Um, the only other alternative I can think of is to go through every single low spot and hit it real quick with the welder and uh, just put some spot welds in there. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a stupid thing to do or what. So, but that's all in. Of course, I've got to finish that, repair that, and figure out what I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to go back over this and figure out what I'm going to do with that. Grind that down and see what's up with that. You know, what's um, what's showing, what's uh, on the other side. If these are... I mean, it's, I, I don't know, I'm not a welder, but I think there's too much wire. I don't know if it penetrated very well on the other side. I think it did. From what I could see, it was penetrating, but no, no, that's kind of iffy for me. So, well, I'll have to double and triple check all that and then finish this up here. And then I've got a wheel well. Um, when he was putting it in, <clears throat> as he was welding, what he was doing was he was, he had it clamped up here, he was cutting it, and then spot welding it as he cut it, so I think it was starting to warp it, and now I'm about, uh, what's that, a quarter inch low on this side, so I've got to figure out a way, and then on this side, it sits fine, so... <clears throat> I gotta figure out a way to, to have this sit flush, whether I have to, you know, cut this out and taper it and bang it in and weld it back in or, or what I'm gonna do there. And then once all of that is done, then I'm gonna start in this corner here, get that corner replaced. Um, we're gonna buy, uh, or he's gonna buy rivets from, uh, I don't know, Max or whoever sells them. But he wants to put rivets back in these rather than bolts. So, the way the factory did it, so we're going to rivet it back together and go from there, work to the other side, and replace the other uh, side. And then after all of that's done, I'm doing the quarters. So, that's my, uh, that's what I've got for the next, ugh, I don't know, that'll probably take me until summer, and then... 
once summer hits, I'm gonna start stripping it down and um, we're gonna chop it. We're gonna do, I'm thinking I'll probably do um, probably three inches. Um, maybe a little less. We don't wanna have a, a major chop, four inch chop or anything like that. Uh, me and my dad are pretty tall guys, 6'5", he's 6'4", and me sitting on the floor right here. If I sit on the floor, my head comes to about there. So you fix your seat, and then if you chop it, so I, you know, I don't want to do anything too radical. Um, the steering wheel I'm going to do, I think, he doesn't want me to repaint it, but I think it should be. I'll probably change his mind on that one. This came out of an old uh, boat. So that's pretty cool. And um, chassis, let's see. I've got to weld the, the box in like that. Got to weld that one on that side. Yeah, it's up here somewhere, sitting somewhere. This is all from a day's work. I'm the messiest, messiest person. So, what are you doing? Are you done? that's that and I'll see you guys later